All right, guys, welcome back to the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch. Well, I am, and Jackie, and uh, Charlie, and some chickens. We are cleaning out the Ponderosa barn. And so this is kind of the loafing part of the whole thing. So the office is in there. I keep the ATV in here sometimes. And then my little chicken coop over here. And uh, so what we're doing, and that's the entry into the barn. What we're doing is uh, I'm... Uh, thank you. Uh, yep. So what I'm doing is I'm cleaning out this loafing shed, at least probably the majority of it. Uh, I've got to do some power washing. You can see the new sheet metal versus the old and original sheet metal of the barn. This, uh -huh. this is the old uh, feed, uh, wooden feed troughs that were here originally. And uh, we just took a, a third of it out. And I actually saved some of it and uh, put here, set new pipe. I did all of that and we moved it over here. <laughs> Golly! And I'm going to clean all this out. I'm going to power wash it, get it cleaned up, get all this chicken poop out of here and, and the dust <laughs> and dirt that has accumulated over time. And I'm going to clean it all up because there is a new member, a new animal coming to the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch and I'm coming to the Ponderosa, joining the family, joining the herd, joining the bakers, all that good stuff. So um, I'm very excited about it and I know Brooks is excited and my wife is very excited, Marissa. So um, I'm gonna clean this up and get it going and get it ready for our new member that is coming to the Ponderosa. Jackie. What are you doing, girl?
one of my biggest problems as far as this loafing part of the barn goes is uh, the chickens like to coop right up here in this eight inch sea perlin, um, which is smart. Could you try again? Which is not a problem. I, I like that, you know, they're trying to get away from the predators and whatnot, it's smart. Uh, I'm, I give it all to them and they like to roost here and then the poop falls right here in the feed trough. So what I'm gonna have to do probably is for, I'm gonna have to start maybe catching them at night uh, a couple times a, a week. And then what I'm gonna have to do is eventually catch them and put them all in here and let them roost uh, in here. I may need to lower, lower these boards, but I need to go ahead and start getting them in here, trying to teach them. And I already feed them in here right now. Um, I, I, I feed them in here and I taught them how to come through their little door right here. It opens when the sun rises, it has a light sensor on it, and it goes, uh, it closes when the um, sun goes down and it gets dark. Um, by that time, they've already started to roost, but I need to get them to where they can come in here and roost at night because they're just pooping uh, everywhere. They're leaving traces of all their poop. And if, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to keep it out of obviously a feed trough, off of some of this stuff. And it's uh, something I'm gonna have to do whenever, uh, we uh, decide to uh, catch them at night and put them in there and start that process. And hopefully they keep going in there to roost. Looks a lot better. You can definitely tell the difference in color. It was hard to match original sheet metal with the new sheet metal. It looks a lot better. You can actually see uh, the beautiful color of this uh, barn red right here of the original sheet metal. So I thought these were cool and I really wanted to keep them. Now, when I first brought bison in here to the Ponderosa, I used this to feed out of, I, you know, Big Joe was in here at one point um and so they were clean but they were um pretty dirty when i first got here i cleaned them out blew them out with a leaf blower and then i started feeding out of it but um their water's stuck here right now it tells you how good it's sealed i need to drill some holes i guess where some of this water can drain through and scoop it out with a shovel like i've been doing but you can see uh, some of this wood that's shiny right here where it, it cleaned up really well. So it's uh, fun to see that wood that's taken uh, some abuse over time, but it's been protected by this. And so that's why this stuff has lasted a long time. But I love these old wooden feed troughs. You know, put hay here if I want it to. Make it easy for, um, uh, to pour feed right over here. Um, you know, if it's not me or it's Kevin, could be Marissa and Brooke. So we wanna make it easy to pour feed over here. Um, so we'll do that uh, for the new addition. Other than that, it looks pretty good.
I think the next thing I want to do is I've got some extra rock. I think I want to bring in that rock and put it out right here because this is kind of the main way we walk into our barn right here and you kind of go to the main part of the barn and uh, you know if it's muddy like it is here from all the rain from all the uh, runoff it gets real muddy and right here so you step into wet mud then you pick up the dry dirt and then you walk in there and so and it's not always like that uh, typically it's dry here but um, I kind of want to bring some rock in here to prevent that maybe pack it down with some water and then um, that way we're not dragging in dirt we want to keep out of that barn I'm also going to repurpose this I use this for Brooks's chicks um, when we first got her chicks um, and this has been here this is one of the leftover this is a uh, one of the leftover um, a trough that was here one of the first things I picked up out there when we first got the property I can get some barrels and put in here with lids it'll be able to hold uh, some feed uh, so basically barrels for feed it's gonna be on some dry ground here but you can see some of this is it's rusted out I can't use it for water or anything but I do like these old metal troughs are cool looking you can put um, you know plants in and whatnot but um, for decoration but I like this so I'm gonna do that for now, but I'm gonna put it to the side so we can get some rock brought in here. You're sleeping on the job. Because oh. you stay up all night working, huh? Oh, Maya's excited. Maya. Oh, God. Oh, God. I see you. What is this? Anyways, what did you drag out? You're always dragging stuff out. I'm in this cockpit.
Well, I think it's a start. I uh, got it. It will pack down over time. All this is is basically some leftover screenings um, that we were when we were doing when we were pouring concrete in here, and I just had a bunch of screenings left over. So um, I thought I'd use it pretty out here since I had some, and uh, it'll just pack down of us walking through here over time probably have to bring in some more and fill in fill in the gaps after it packs down but um chickens will even it out for me i guess but but i just wanted something in here you know this stuff works pretty well i've used it out kind of uh around some of the waters some of the water systems if i don't have concrete all the way around them some of the water um pads and this stuff eventually at the bison and the water weather and all that it eventually packs down really well so i may have to wet it a couple times here and there uh, just to get it to pack down but these screenings work really well it's basically your cheap way of pouring concrete eventually because this stuff will will get really hard it'll take a little longer because it's covered but uh i think this will work and with our traffic and you know the really heavy chickens that we have I think they'll really pack it down over time and we'll bring in some more when we need it. Well, next thing on the list, Jackie is going to the vet. I gotta get Jackie loaded up in the truck. She's going on a little field trip, so you guys follow us along. Come on, let's go. Well, you got some bison here there? There she is. You know what that sound is, don't you? In here, they're broken, but. Come on, come on, Jackie. Come on. I don't want to carry you the whole way. Maya's like, I'm going too. Maya, you're staying. Let's go around. We'll be back and get you. You don't want to go to the vet. I know you don't want to go to the vet. Oh, you just think we're going home. Wrong. No, Maya. Jackie. Oh. Jackie. Stay, Maya. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. You are ready to leave already. Girl, Jackie, I told you we'd be back, Maya. feed right there. Well, Jackie, we can put your dog food right here for now. Is that, girl? Is that okay? It's dirty. That's much better. What do you have? You got a scoop? Come on, let's go. Put you guys 
that's a treat. You got how many? How many? One? Nice. This one. How many do you have here? Can you count? I don't think they're in there. The nest holds them in there. Go ahead and get some here. Dad will hold them. We don't have our carton with us. Ooh, that one's warm. You feel it? <laughs> okay. Okay, you got those two? Okay, let's go. Let's take them to the office. Say move, Jackie, look out. Back, Jackie. Jackie, no, no, no. Look at them. What are they? Two baby chicks. Your baby chicks? Oh, they're getting so big. Do you want to hold one? Yes. Okay. What's your chick doing? Ow. Ow. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she likes being up there. Collar. Jackie's got a new collar. Let us see it. Hmm. All right, Jackie's new collar. We got to go put it on her. Jackie, you got a new pretty teal co collar. Yeah, now we just need a now we need a name tag for you. Well, me and Maya just got back from picking up some jerky. We just got a whole bunch of it picked up, so we have to go up to the packaging company. Uh, where we get our jerky and our snack stick products made at. And then what we do is we take our products to the Ponderosa office, and uh, that's where we ship all of our merchandise from and our jerky and snack sticks from. Be sure and go check it out at our website, crosstimbersbison.com. Thank you guys for watching us today, and I uh, can't wait for you guys to see what's coming to the Ponderosa. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. Brooks is so excited. Brooks is pumped. And uh, she just turned three, by the way. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see y'all soon.